Hi everyone. Hi guys. Welcome back to the loft. Um, today it's just a singular perfume that we're just going to talk just about one briefly. Just um, one. A little ditty thing, um, and it's something from. Well, depending on what you call them, Gorilla Perfumes or Lush, they're slightly separate things, but Lush are the sockets mm. of Gorilla Perfumes. Um, a British company. A British company. Yeah. We, you know, we talked before about Breath of God, yep. President's Hat, yep. maybe. Um, and this is something that my dear beloved bought me for Christmas, which oh, yeah, is a delightful thing. Yeah, well, we bought on her. I'd, I'd mentioned it to her, and um, it's Tank Battle. Da da. Tank Battle. What? And look I at the colour. Hilarious thing. God, it's great though, It's it? so dark, it's that. so dark. That, that bodes so well. You know there's going to be some interesting stuff in there. So I have, I smelt this for the first time about, an, about an hour ago downstairs. I, I've got it on this hand, but I'm going to put it on this This Give hand, it a fresh one. Just so yeah. I can experience the, the first spray. Do you, do you want to read the description? Cause yes, uh, so... We wondered what, I mean, tank battle, what does that mean in terms of... Are we training? talking like military tanks? No. As Lush say, Imagine an abandoned water tank on the edges of the city, covered in graffiti and transformed into a combined home, studio and art gallery. This unique space provided the inspiration for this unexpected perfume. A blast of sweet bubblegum mingles with sharp metallic notes and a transgressive hit of spray paint, whatever that smells like, to create a wearable art piece for fearless innovators. And then it has the wonderful thing, how to use, spritz directly onto your wrists and neck for an immediate dose of your favourite aroma. We know that part. I don't, I don't get the metallic, but I get... I don't the, get the, the metallic. The bubblegum is so vivid. It's big right at the start, it's, isn't it's it? Really, and we, we, what we've often said, we've talked about uh, the uh, tuberose as an ingredient. Yeah. How it gives you this really good chewing gum effect. Um, what's the Healy one? Uh, bubble bubblegum gum, chic. Bubblegum chic yeah. by, uh, by James Healy. And he does everything he can in there to get that effect. This with, is amazing. With banana skin and, and everything. And it's already starting to change after, what was it, 30 seconds. But for the yeah. first 30 seconds, I get pure 100% tuberosy bubblegum. Yeah. Now, I'm already starting to get patchouli. Yeah. So, which is changing a lot from this bright, sticky, fun. Hubba bubba strawberry. And I, and I think or something, pink. I think pink. Is yeah, the color. absolutely. It's now being taken over with this dark brown, or not even green, dark brown patchouli. Yeah. And it's getting a lot more serious. It was very playful and naughty to start with. It's Absolutely. Been, it's all become a lot more serious. And this and this is interesting about the spray paint thing and the graffiti mm. because you can imagine some sort of, I call it hyper colour because I'm from yep. the 90s, but some big bold colours. But actually there's some there's some rotting vegetation and yeah. damp, dank soil or something. There's something underneath that. And also there? it's not just, you know, it's not just fun. Like it, no, it is, it's illegal. It is a crime. It is a crime. You yeah. should remember that. It's naughty. We're not encouraging this behaviour. Yeah. I mean, there, there's a hint of dark side. There really is. And a bit of dangerous, a bit of mm -hmm. dangerous, don't want to get left in the forest yeah. on your own in but the middle of the night. I mean, thing. that two note is so good. So our last video, Beautiful, isn't it? we talked about um, the difference between or why we prefer niche perfume to designer perfume. This is this is niche. This is artisan. Uh, this is not an expensive no, no, fragrance no. at all. But what you smell in terms of ingredients, I think, is much much higher than so many designer oh, fragrances. God, absolutely. You really you it's get so the, the designer so viv vividly, and now the patchouli is taking over. The yeah. patchouli is so vivid; it's really good, and it's a really good natural patchouli oil as well. So you're really getting yeah. something that's deep and earthy, mm. and has some legs. I mean, all, you're, with all of these lush and grilled fragrances, they smell very natural, for bad or for worse. They smell yeah, natural. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this is I mean, bold as hell. This my it? freshly sprayed. This is my one when I've had it on a bit more, and the. This, this hand, and what I started noticing after a while is after the patchouli, it was the labdanum which, which joined in and just made it. it, it I mean, I really, really love labdanum. It makes things yeah. treacly and rich and enveloping. It rounds everything, doesn't it? And I still, even here, I still get a bit of that tuberose. I still get a bit yeah. of that, that bright, sparkly, chewy top. It's like an old wine where you still get a little bit of a ghost of the fruit that was there once it's, upon a time. It's interesting because it's it's such a balance of fun and cheeky and dark and serious. Yeah. You know, that, that opening is so bright and chewy and sticky and playful, whereas patchouli and labdanum, you think of being so dark and heavy and serious. Yeah. But they seem to work. They seem to marry it's a combo. quite well. I ha and I have to say, it's a combo that only <laughs> I can only imagine Lush and Gorilla doing. 
yeah. Breath of God for me is one of my all-time favourite things. I love it. And it's because it's this series mm. of contrasts. Bubblegum, vetiver, smoke, yeah. dirty, fresh, um, yeah. kind of cooked we also meat, talk, bubblegum. Yeah, the other it's note just, which you get, crazy. which I'm starting to get works. here, and it's I still got a bit of it here, is this um, kind of soil accord. Yeah, absolutely. So we talked about absolutely damp pe soil, petrichor, it? this um, rain falling on damp earth, this petrichor accord of. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, diff it's slightly difficult to describe it, but I'm sure if I say rain falling on damp earth, that, you absolutely. will be able to yeah. think of it immediately, and that's that, that's what you get, and that's what combines, and that's again it makes it feel a bit, um, I don't know, gritty, bit earthy, yeah. bit natural. Yeah. Again, it takes it away from that playful side. And I, I mean, I, I very rarely would reference oh. would reference him on here, but Luca Turin interestingly describes this as as beetroot and I get what he means because there's this because earthiness of the so beetroot. Earthy and yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I've very, one of my favourite things I've ever, one of my favourite meals I've ever eaten in my life was in an old defunct place called the Boxwood Cafe, it was an old Gordon Ramsay place but it was a dish of, of like mackerel with beetroot and a sort of really earthy potato salad and it was absolutely yeah. incredible but I really get that here, I mm. get this I get this freshly dug up beetroot oh, it's so, it's and rained on soil. It's amazingly good. C can we you just talk a, a little bit about the price? So we, we've said design a niche, yada yada yada. But this is, can we just see the, where's the bottle? Oh here it is. It's, it's like tiny little So thing. This, this is only a 30 mil bottle, but this was... I think like 20 to 25 point, I can't remember. So, it's yeah. in the, between 20 and 25. So that's somewhere between 17 to 20 dollars. Yeah. This is really not very much money whatsoever but the smell is very natural it's very vivid yeah it's strong it projects like a beast yeah i mean it's yeah. very it, the, the siage is, is strong when i've just put it on and, and i've not but even there i've not I'm getting it off, from but behind. You, yeah. you've said it lasts well as well oh yeah on me it's been an all-day affair without yeah. question and still developing all through the day it still has that mm. reference to classical yeah. perfume structure with a pyramid of notes that evolves throughout the journey mm. amazing which is beautiful and you know for that price you're laughing i mean I, you know i can think of several designer things that are boringly generic that are three times the price for a small bottle yeah and fine if you like that mm. if you, i mean this is far more interesting to it's, it's an interesting one because if you i love labdenum and so if you like dark, sticky, rich scents, I would say give this a go. But just beware that it's got this, there's this tuberose, sticky, bubblegummy opening. But if you, if you want a dark scent with a playful opening, this yeah, is what, it's this great. Is definitely one to try. It, yeah, it gives you the contrast, which is nice. I think, I think Lush are all about this. There are none of the perfumes mm. which I can think of as a sort of one hit wonder. Like this no. is the note you've got to get. They, they're all playful. They're all slightly tongue in cheek. Yep. which is part of their thing, in a way that Eldo do, for instance, Etat Libre d'Orange, they, yep. they're all slightly tongue-in-cheek, um, but really well done. And I think at the price point, I can't think of many mm. perfumes that would beat that. But it doesn't smell cheap, that, that's the thing. No, I get, no way does I, it smell I could, cheap. In a, in a way, I'd pay 100 quid for that, it's a bit really. of a, it smells slightly risky in that it's got bold fragrances, but the fragrances are distinct. Yeah, They totally, smell totally. Um, like quality ingredients. Yeah. It, it doesn't smell like cheap ingredients clashing with each other. No, no, no. It's, it's, you know, it's done well and it's blended in such a way that it takes you on a journey. And we should say as well, these things are a limited edition and they'll, they'll presumably see how they go like they do with Lush. They're sort of in one minute, the next minute they're gone. Um, they'll see how this mm. does. If it succeeds and does well, then maybe they'll bring out more. Mm. It may disappear, which is is a sad thing, and we we talked about this in our last video. But so lush do I'm do, very glad to have it. Lush now. do do samples online, don't they as well? I think so. I think yeah. 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 So you can order yourself samples, but um, if from what we've said, if you if you like the sounds of it, you know, it's not a lot of money to spend. No, really. No, no. You know, twenty whatever you said. Uh, I think it was like twenty quid. Or, or right, Anthony, but around about twenty pounds. But you know what? Buy a bottle of it if you want. If you like the sound of it. If you're not so keen, you can sell the thing, and I would hang on to it because the likelihood is that they'll disappear. Mm. And we're yeah. not we're not encouraging you to buy and sell stuff. But 
for me, I don't think many people, if they like the sound of it and they know the sort of tastes we have, yep. I don't think you'd Go be disappointed. It. I think it's one of the most original yep. and exciting things I've smelled. But it's, and it's also pleased. You, well, I think it's often on, on these videos we talk about very expensive fragrances, new yeah. releases of Irish Nidori, which are which are two hundred and fifty dollars yeah. um, for or thirty the, mil, like the goat, act, you know, accent, which is five hundred dollars for fifty mil. Right, so it's this great. is more like twenty dollars yeah. for thirty mil. So we. There are good fragrances you can find out there for not much money, and there are fragrances we enjoy which are not expensive. Yeah. So go and try it, go out and find them, tell us what you think about it. Yeah. Tell us about Gorilla and Lush, because I think they do some really good fragrances. They're fantastic. And you know, the, all the, I've said this before, all the other products as well. I've, yeah. I've been wearing this um, beautiful rose jam, it sounds like an advert, it really isn't. I've been wearing this rose jam shower gel. It's absolutely beautiful, and there's embers, and there's there's dirt, and all these mm. things, and bath bombs, and all the rest of it. I think they're really fun. You know, are, you know, are they the cutting edge of niche perfumery? No, they're not. But actually, no. they're bloody good. They value for money. Yeah. Yeah. What's not to like? Go and check them check out. Check them out if you like. There they are. Until next time. Happy sniffing. Bye.